Hello, my name is Cameron, and this week I got the chance to learn about anamorphic art and learn about a few artists who have played around with this style of art in the past few years. Um, when I researched what anamorphic art is, it came up that it's a technique creating a distorted projection or perspective requiring the viewer to occupy a specific vantage point or use specific devices um, to view a recognizable image. Um, one of the main artists that I got the chance to research was Holbein, and his uh, most famous piece, The Ambassadors, is a very good representation of what animal flick art is. Uh, for me, what I got from it that the main idea of the piece is mortality, um, the idea that death is everywhere and that death is inevitable, even among the wealthiest people. Um, the animal flick skull that you can see at the bottom of the piece at first glance, it almost seems like nothing but a blurred line or even a mistake, um, but it clearly is a big and blatant part of the piece. Um, I believe it directly translates to our wor worldly views of death, something that many young people disregard or put on the back burner. In the same sense, the figures seem to be overlooking this idea of death. You can see them, they have a lot of fancy clothes, fancy pieces, a lot of luxury is shown. Um, but death is clearly not their focus, even though it's it's everywhere and it's a big part of the art piece. Um, you can see the skull. If you view it in a specific point, you see that the big line at the bottom of the piece is a skull representing death. Um, but the main figures in the piece are more focused on wealth or creating a name for themselves or in this sense trying to create the church. Um, so yeah. Another artist that I had the chance to research was Jenny Holzer, and she was really intriguing to me. I really actually like her art style. Um, at first, I didn't really think of it as anamorphic art, but after further review, I kind of got the chance to understand why it's considered to be that. Um, she uses a lot of public spaces, including benches, parks, uh, big LED signs to broadcast powerful and compelling statements. Um, and to me, it's kind of cool. It seems like a refined form of graffiti almost, which is, I thought was kind of interesting. Um, so I came to the conclusion that it is a form of anamorphic art because the statements that she's broadcasting are not what people would expect to see. Um, they're kind of like a source of confusion. Like you see a sign, you expect it to kind of just be normal, but she's portraying these social commentaries that are really interesting. Um, and in that case, it's kind of a social social distortion. Um, the statements that she works with are not really broadca broadcasted, and that makes it pretty interesting. Another artist that I had the chance to research was Gonzalez Day. Um, just a little bit about his style. He um, offers, as well as um, Jenny Holzer, she, um, Gonzalez Day offers an extreme social commentary in his photograph-based conceptual pieces. Uh, one example of this is in his digital art altering of lynching scenes from the 19th and 20th centuries. So one of the questions that you asked us to respond to was, how does the 1500 art kind of tie into contemporary art of this day? And when I, one thing that really stuck out to me was the idea of the 1500 mannerism and the distortion. They kind of work with a play, play around with stretching of limbs and playing around with changing line and shape. Um, similar to contemporary art, it's kind of a playful um, style and it's almost a way to escape the, um, the normal or normalities of the real world, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, so overall, I really actually enjoyed anamorphic art. I do want to learn more about it and I'm excited to see like how I can kind of spot it in everyday, in the everyday sense now. Um, it's kind of cool to see how artists these days play around with space, perception and movement and how they incorporate it into uh, normal pieces to keep it more interesting. So that's my take on anamorphic art and thanks for watching.